What's that GNB general broadcast about? It is to alert everyone that enemy forces have grown stronger in the CETO system. So the outlaws armed up? Does that mean GNB will too? Yes. You will have to account for this when traversing the CETO system in future. I have fully adapted to the new craft, and am in the process of acquainting myself with you again as its pilot. My databanks, as discussed, remain out of date until I am permitted to link to Eterna. How about your personality protocols? Are you capable of switching? You are dissatisfied with my default settings? Please, feel free to experiment. I might just do that, Hive. this Maddox guy and I need to be subtle about it. All I know is that he's here and he's expecting Dax at a ramen noodle joint. There is no Maddox listed in the local directory. I can only suggest manually scouting the local ramen restaurants. If that's what needs to be done. any discounts. Straight trade or no deal. I've had enough of all the haggling malarkey. I'm only here on business. That's what I wanted to hear. that there is a heavily secured structure in front of us. It has the appearance of a vault. The complex opening mechanism, however, is beyond my decryption capabilities. Maybe I can crack it myself. Brute force could possibly work where intellect cannot.
welcome to the GNB Bureau of Prescott Starbase. We receive a lot of inquiries, so please be brief and to the point. I'm hoping to do some business without registering, if you know what I mean. You're looking to trade off the books, is that it? Well, we are in the DMZ, after all. Rules are there for bending. I'm thankful that you see it that way. Just don't push your luck. was surprisingly simple. It looks like a list, but it's hard to tell what these numbers mean. I could various analyses to find out. Please do. A result is expected in 2,335,363 years. Are you serious? I am always serious. Abort the analysis. Analysis catch shape. I would have enjoyed a tedious, mind-numbing task. It reads vault-worthy and has a Prescott Starbase address on it. We could pretend to have never seen it. The address you found belongs to an office in the business district in the upper area. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? What is to be expected from the worst cesspit of the cluster? Regardless, I think I'll pay him a visit. tells me that you have a special job on offer? Tells you correctly. It's an extraction job at Yawen Orbit. We have a client who's willing to pay handsomely. Yawen? That's outlaw territory, right? Multiple gangs have banded together and settled there to stand a better chance against Okar raids. They don't trust each other much, but still have each other's backs if anyone comes in uninvited. And the job involves extracting what? Data from outlaws? That too is correct. There is just one problem. My client didn't give me much information on the exact nature of this data. Nor do we know which of the outlaw gangs has it. So, to be on the safe side, 
I need someone to hack all their stations separately and download whatever they can find. Huh, <laughs> like pointing an auto cannon in the dark. Anything else I need to know? Only that once you've started the hacking process, you'll need to stay close to the server until it's done. Otherwise, the connection will be severed. You'll need to start from scratch. Hmm. So, how about it? Let's say I return with all the data. What if none of them contain the file your client is looking for? They will pay nonetheless. That is the deal. It better be. All right, I'll look into it. Good. Stay safe out there. References. Hi, I'd like one ramen with an extra side of information. You're new here, ain't you? How could you tell? Yeah. Only a Ruba be making such an amateur move. You don't go asking questions on Prescott without getting questions asked about you. Look, I'm trying to find a guy called Maddox. I never heard of him. And I don't divulge client details. Now, unless you're ordering something, I'll suggest you op it. Fair enough. wasn't the place. What gave it away? here. A custom combat vessel, eyes of a hunter, and the smell of a Byron Podhorn during spring season. You're a gun for hire, right? Uh, yeah, I am. All right, then. We've got some assignments on the board, but there's one job that has priority above all else. A gang of outlaws just ambushed some traveling merchants. We know where they're hiding, but I can't go in with my own team, else they'll see us coming light sex away. All right. Consider it done. Good. You'll find them in a bunch of caves and smugglers' wheel. Here are the coordinates. Don't call to Miso. Make your order on left panel. Wait, is this restaurant fully automated? Noodles made to the best precision and highest hygiene standards. In which case you have no human management on site. This fully automated enterprise is managed remotely. I'm looking for a guy called Maddox? Request does not compute. No guy of name description found. Chashu, don't call to Miso. Make your order. Oh, forget it. We had ramen at G&B every day. I hated it. Any idea why it's so popular off-world, Hive? The favorability of ramen noodles in off-world settings can be explained by the ease of transportation and the longevity of the freeze-dried ingredients, necessitating only boiled H2O and a dash of toppings to activate, and... Okay, Hive, I get it.
you want? Uh, I'll take a... Ah, screw it. Can't even pretend I want some ramen. Honestly, I can't stand this stuff. Nah, no, right? How do people stand it? Warm fatty water with slimy spaghetti and crumblets? I have no idea why they go so nuts for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a real mystery to me. I was just discussing it with my AI. Yeah, I'm a dumplings guy myself. Anyway, what can I do you for? I'm looking for a guy named Maddox. Oh, you're looking for Maddox, are you? Huh. I've come quite a long way to find him. Well, I can't help you with that, but uh, since you're a valued customer, I can lead you to someone who can. You should meet a guy called Daryl. He usually hangs out at the casino. I'll let him know you're coming. Much obliged. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Nice guy. Let's go see what this Daryl has to say. Golden buoy, we buoy your gold. You mean buy, right? I, but management insists we use a slogan that sticks in clients' heads. And that was their choice of words? Right. My ideas were so much better. Like, tell your gold, buy. Or we buy the gold, by the way. Or your gold says bye-bye when we bye-bye. Ah, uh, okay. What? Well, I'm actually looking for a place called Vaultworthy. Oh, you're at the wrong place, then. So, you know them? Yeah, we took over the lease on this site from them. I guess they couldn't afford the location anymore. How come? What do I care? Maybe their business didn't have the winning formula like ours. They should have invested in the future. Gold. Do you know where I can find them? Any business that's sinking usually moves to the lower decks before abandoning ship completely. I'll try my luck in the lower levels. Gold luck with that. Really? New catchphrase. Walk the plank. We have other customers waiting. Gold bye. Excuse me, you cannot dock here. This runway needs to be cleared immediately. I am expecting an important shipment at any moment now. Don't listen to it. Its fragile cyber brain cannot comprehend that the shipment it's talking about already passed us by days ago. The system is not capable of such errors. We even received a message that it ended up in transit limbo. You read it yourself. It says the jars are stuck at the border to Zharkov. Probably already making little jar babies and figuring out elaborate jar retirement plans. Is there anything I can do to help? Removing cargo from a Gradian Brunt warehouse is illegal. It is. But sometimes cargo just... vanishes. I don't know. What do you think, sir? It happens. You're speaking as an expert? The things vanishing from stations? I guess, if you put it that way. Well, how about I give you the shipment signature? If you happen to stumble across it, you could just let us know. It is peculiar how quickly people confide in you. Maybe I just come across as a trustworthy guy. Or as a crook for hire.
be the place. It looks worse than the vaults where we found its address. Uh, maybe they're nice and know more about the vaults. I hoped to spare us the disappointment. Hello, hello, hello! Are you an entrepreneur in need of place for your valuable goods? My name is Clarence, and the C stands for Security. Whatever your lockup needs, we'll look it up. These catchphrases are getting worse. I uh, found one of your vaults. Yes, and? And I opened it. Oh! Aha! Must have been your vault, right? It didn't seem to belong to anyone anymore. So it wasn't locked, ah! No, it was locked, but wasn't that hard to open either. You are one of those outlaws, stealing things that do not belong to you. That's not true. Your level of denial is breathtaking. Salvaging is not stealing. Does not matter anyway. This business relies on its reputation, and that is in tatters now, thanks to outlaws making sport of cracking my vaults. The whole idea was to have a secure but fun mechanism, not to provide entertainment to crooks. <sighs> I'm practically bankrupt. That's too bad. So, are you renting one of my vaults now, or are you just wasting my time? I was wondering if you could share with me the coordinates for more of these vaults. Are you kidding me? So you can plunder them too? Are you out of your mind? I would never give you that list. If it existed. It's salvaging, not stealing. I'm only looking for the abandoned ones, mostly. I will not give you anything. This would ruin me completely. Do you really think I would keep a list with the secret location of every customer's vault? Where even? In one of my vaults? Well, that would be ironic, wouldn't it? No, you never get the list. As there is no such list. Just leave me be. Okay, mister, I'll see myself out. You better. He list with every vault. <laughs> Hilarious. This must be Clarence's list. That would be a safe assumption. Oh, uh, is that a gag, Hive? Good one.
casino, where your money gets lost. coming. Hi, uh, I'm looking for a guy named Daryl. That's me. Yeah, a restaurant called Ahead. So you're, uh, you're the guy looking for Maddox. Is he here? Does it look like it? I just want to get a look at the size of you before I determine what you're about. Uh, okay. I'm a friend of his former colleague. Whatever. Listen, you know who I represent? No. Should I? You should. Asking questions about the place like a total newbie. You gotta learn to go through the right channels like everyone else. I wasn't looking for trouble. Well, okay then. You know for next time. You know my name, you know where to find me. Yeah, sure. Now I know. I'm gonna let you off the hook this one time. No excuses next time, got it? Do you know where Maddox is or not? As a matter of fact, I do. But he's been keeping a low profile, trying to avoid people like you. Who is he hiding from exactly? Who knows? Maybe he's a little paranoid, maybe it's a real thing. But the airwaves have been buzzing with rumors, and he ain't taking no chances. I can assure you I have no ill intent. I just want to talk to him. Well, we don't know you, so we need to see if you can be trusted. I'm gonna ask that you do a little job for us first. So if you can carry this out, then we can talk more. Okay, then. I need you to pick up a package, but it's in a hard-to-reach location. It's an old raided settlement inside the system. Okay, I'll do this. But I need assurances from you that you give me the information I need when I get back. Hey, Scout's honor. <laughs> 